In this video, we're looking at two examples of binary operations, and you can see it right here in the first question. Now, a binary operation, like addition, subtraction, or multiplication, or division, is called binary, right? Binary, where the bi means two number, because these operations act on exactly two values at the same time. For example, two plus three well, plus is binary because it's, it's really relating this one number with this one right here. So a binary operation connects two numbers. So we can make any binary operation we want with any rule we want. And that's what they're doing in these types of questions right here. They're saying if square, this black square or whatever it is, is a binary operation defined by, well, <clears throat> here they're giving you the rule right that tells us about the binary operation it's telling us that a square b means or what you do is right double a two times a and raise that to the b power so every time we see this square that really means take a or the first number and double it to a and then raise it to the power of b this number right here so curse it right off um, so, so let's try this. It says, what is the value of 5 square 2? So what would that be? Well, 5 square 2, in this case, this is our a term because it goes before the square, and they tell us over here, whatever number is in front of the square is a, and whatever is after is b. So 5 is a, and 2 is b. So I double, it says it right here, here's the blueprint. I double a 2 times 5 and I raise that to the b power, which is 2. And now I just follow a normal order, order of operations. 2 times 5 is 10, and that's 10 to the second power. This is equal to 100. And that's a pretty typical type of binary question. And the same thing here, although they're asking it in a different way. Use the accompanying table. What is the value of 2 star 3, in parentheses, star 4? So here, we don't know what the star means. We just know that this table tells us about the star operation. And here you can see it right here. This is our star operation. And you could read this like you normally would read a multiplication table. right? So for example, 1 star 1 equals 1. Now that doesn't tell me much, but I'm just showing you how to read this table. 1 star 2 is 2. right? And we can skip around. What about 3 star 4? What does that equal? Well, I don't know, but let's look, use a table. 3 star 4 is 2. Right? And even if you don't see any order to this, that's okay. We're, we're just saying this is an operation. It's a binary operation. Let's see how it works. Because this table will help us translate and answer the question right here, which says 2 star 3 in parentheses. So we follow our order of operations and do that first. Here's 2. Here's 3. 2 star 3, well, they meet here. Oops, they meet here at this number, just like you would read a multiplication table. So 2 star 3 is 1. And then we have to star 4 with that. So 2 star 3 is 1. What is 1 star 4? Well, let's just look at that. 1 star 4. That meets here at this number, right? So 1 star 4 is 4. So the answer here is 4. And, you know, I still, myself, don't really understand what this operation is doing exactly, but they're making almost a random or arbitrary rule to define it. You've just got to be able to follow it. All right, thanks a lot.